Hello everyone, we are in Pakatum and you are watching Azorian Metal, Metal TV. Pakatum started in 1998. Almeida wanted to, to form a, a metal band with me and, uh, and uh, Gouveia. He was so persistent and convinced us both to, to, form, a, to form a band. It's really important to uh, highlight the fact that this band starts as friendship. I would say that music comes after friendship. Having the best friends ever, um, you know, since we are little kids and sharing the same passions, <laughs> That was the best. The band evolved over the years. We started as a three-piece band. We played a trash, heavy, <laughs> whatever. And then uh, in 1999, uh, we had uh, Alvin in the keyboards. And then the band, at the moment, started defining the, the gothic sound that we have, uh, we have today. When he joined us, our sound somehow changed. It changed. Yes. So we became felt like we were kind of, uh, now we know we have more or less where we are going, you know what yes. I mean? Um, and I would say that that was our first huge step, step forward. in terms of... Um, Defining our, our Exactly, our exactly, sound. exactly. Then uh, uh, João, uh, also known as Cavalin, <laughs> joined the band to, the, to, to be the drummer. Uh, Almeida started on the guitar. Spell after joined the band too, to, to, to play keyboards. And at the time, we, know, we, we were uh, a gothic metal band. Uh, our la latest acquisition is uh, Stefan on the keyboards. And uh, we can say that our best more, more um, stable lineup. And having a pro musician yeah. in our lineup it makes a huge difference. difference. Yes. We define our sound as a doom gothic metal, um, not the traditional doom, the one that is played at uh, 20 beats per, per second, but uh, doom in the sense of um, creating a a gloomy and uh, melancholic atmosphere. atmosphere yeah. Yes. And what uh, separates us from the other bands? I think the main uh, point is we try to get our inspiration from the Azorian traditions and the way and the way of living. The place where we are from and the place where we live, and also the place where we write our music, it plays a very, very, very important role on the on the final product. Yes. I think that it's quite easy for um, a Portuguese citizen, or I would say a Portuguese listener, to um, identify with, exactly, exactly. Uh, with, with, our, to, with our song. Just, yeah, you, you are pushing play and oh you know kind of immediately these guys are from, from the, the island or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Our traditions um, are one of our main inspiration when we write uh, our our music. We try to use these elements as a way to differentiate us as a band from the others. And uh, this is uh, something that is very ben beneficial for us. You Living know, in our islands in the middle of the Atlantic uh, doesn't have to be a, a bad thing. So we use this in our uh, advantage. We try to use these elements um, in our favor. In Antilia, the conceptual work about the um, tales of the Setsi Dutch the uh, story between uh, a shepherd and the princess. Yeah. In uh, 1563, we talk about the last um, volcanic eruption that uh, happened in our islands. Only comparable to the mirrored vision of those eyes will be holding you in my arms. Both of these uh, songs uh, are part of our Antilia um, MCD. Go back, goes back to 2002, 2002 yeah. and it's a conceptual work about the Seti Daj tales. It's about uh, forbidden love between a shepherd and a princess, and when they couldn't materialize their love, they both cry 
and um, to, to, to lakes. And yeah, uh, just for you two the, um, guys, no, this is one of our best local legends. The, their tears became the lakes. So, and, uh, and as far as we know, one of them had blue eyes and the other had green eyes. So, and in the end of the day, the, um, the lakes became together, like kind of a shape of the number eight, uh, but with different colors. Yeah. One side is blue and the other is green. It's, it's amazing. It's one of those things about the Azores. Uh, and this, you will also find this in our music. Yeah, everlasting delicacy. It's um, pretty straightforward. It's the the love story between the the forbidden love story between the shepherd and the princess, and the what we portrait is about the, the emotions that the the shepherds feel when he, he can't be with the, the princess and uh, has to complain her portrait in the the lake. Poor kid. <laughs> Portrait. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> Poor kid. No way. Blows. Everything is strangely calm. Most of the people that listen to our music, they are our friends. So, and it's great to make uh, new friends all over the world. Uh, and at the end of the day, they're all nice people. So, this means something. <laughs> and then for us, it's, it's an honor. I, uh, we used to. Uh, talk about this several times once in a while our listeners they also become members of our band that's the way i see it that's the way i guess we see it and it's very good for us at the end of the, our live shows people come to us and uh, express what they felt about uh, what they heard and felt yeah that's it's very the, rewarding for us very for us. very rewarding yes. and in the end of the day it doesn't happen it happens with i would say that it happens with every single band in the world uh, and with us, it's not different. Yes. Uh, but uh, with us, it kind of feels like uh, our our fans and our friends, their eyes are shining when the, you know after the shows. It's it's really cool. One day, someday, the pink light will fade. The trenches. Our album, like our previous uh, works, will have um, a specific uh, concept. We have run out of lakes in the island, <laughs> so <laughs> so the concept. Uh, we are short on lakes, man. <laughs> so the concept will be something that is very close to us as uh, people that live on some lost islands, islands in the Atlantic, and uh, the feelings that um, are associated with this uh, isolation, the people that left searching for a better life, the feelings that these people have, the people that stay. So the concept will be something about uh, this uh, feeling, this, this condition of uh, people that live in, li yeah. in islands. And thank yeah. you for waiting. Yeah. Uh, we know, we admit that it's, you know... We have a very particular <laughs> work uh, method and... Uh, yeah, kind of like... Uh, kind of like very, tool, uh, very tool slow, you know, snail-like. a long time to... Uh, uh, we, it always takes us a long time to... Yeah. Uh, to um, do something. We have uh, five uh, members, each one with um, their professional lives, personal lives, their hobbies. And all of us were really slow. Yeah. All that we do is we stay together. We kind of feed off each other. We support each other. We are friends. Our slogan is, if you keep the friendship, you will keep your band. So yes. in the end of the day, it's, um, it's friendship. Our, it's our main purpose is to, before having a band, having a group of friends. In our ways of thoughts, a band will, will not function if uh, we are not Well, we are well not some bands do, but but we, us, we know um, for sure that for in Pecatum, uh, it wouldn't work. And creativity comes from the, this friendship, the, um, all the pieces working and uh, thinking and working together. Yep. In thy forest and evil lords, strange worship to ancient tell. The first challenge is if you want to play live for other audiences, you have to fly. Uh, the main challenge is uh, our condition of living in these uh, isolated islands in the in the Atlantic but uh, it's also something that differentiates us yeah yeah we, we try to use this in our um, advantage advantage and not quite an uh, a ch challenge or a difficult difficult yeah it's it's not a problem it's just 
one of the things that uh, a band uh, that um, exists in 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 the middle of the ocean has to deal with. Other yeah. than that, we're fine. The love we share. The love we share. There's a handful of uh, memorable experiences, uh, mostly because. Uh, the, the, the audience uh, it's people that um, they really you enjoy get, our sound so the, and it feels like it's 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 a family and um, there's no um, there's no problems at all so uh, you deliver your energy uh, you feel happy you feel sad you feel mad all at the same time and it happens the same with the with the crowd right in front of you, and um, this is not very fast metal. Of course, there's the double bass, uh, drum pedal, whatever, uh, but it's not super fast music. Far from it. But still, the the crowd kind of add bangs and enjoys the um, our performances. And talking about memorable Show. shows, uh, I can point some. The first. Uh, will be our first uh, show, our very first show, <laughs> our back very in first show. That the Govea fell on the second oh, yeah. song, <laughs> and I wasn't aware of that. Only at the end of the show, people come to us. Oh man, you were mad. You yeah, we have that on camera. <laughs> you throw yourself he... to the to the floor, and uh, it just fell. Yeah. <laughs> people think that I I did that yeah. on purpose, but no, there was a kind of a, a speaker behind me or something, and it tripped, and the, uh, my feet and got fell. caught in something, and I fell off. And yeah. it was like, yeah, man, yeah, that was so cool. Like in the end of the song, you just fall on your back, and like it, super rock and roll. And but I no, wasn't was, aware of that. It was that uh, was just an accident. Yeah. And well, Tony was right there, right a few. And I didn't notice uh, notice that. So fun. When we played last year at the end of Everlasting Delicacy, the the crowd started um, singing the the main melody of the song, and man. The, it was uh, oh, brought tears. It was uh, fantastic. Some of us were getting gray, some of us were getting bold. <laughs> I don't think there's bold dudes in our band. No. No, we're getting gray. Not yet. That's it. Getting gray yeah. and slow. Yeah, it works for the music, man. It works for the music. It gets slower and slower. <laughs> yeah, in the end of the day, it feels like we're just teenagers. We are enjoying this this thing pretty much as day one. Um, and it's very, very exciting. And all of us, we want to be here like in 20 years from now hopefully doing exactly the same shit the long awaited season has come to us at last the main goal is finishing our album it's very important for us as a band with more than 20 years all we have is a small uh, short length works demos and EPs so a full length album will be a milestone for us. Uh, it will be a, the coronation of uh, all the, the time we have uh, as a band. So this is our main goal and of course play live as much as we can. Yeah, we really would like to thank every single one of you uh, for your patience. Um, again, in the end of the day, we are just uh, a small band in the small from, island in the exactly. middle of the Atlantic. But it's great when uh, when people from the other side of the world they get in touch with us. They send us amazing feedback, and uh, we 
think about these people uh, and you guys are, are kind of ambassadors in your own countries where you live and this happens all over the world. Yeah, we used to um, receive emails from all the parts of the, of the world asking for uh, some info about the album, if they can buy our, our works and for us it's super rewarding. We have to thank all the, the band members and friends that uh, played with us, uh, Alvin, Spell, the session musicians, yeah. all of you made the uh, impact on what Jean Pied, Luis Philippe, yeah. the other keyboard player. Made us what we are today. And we hope to be, like Andrea said uh, before, to be here in 20 years doing the, the same thing. Oh yeah. We really would like to thank you for watching. Thank you for following us. Um, please keep doing it. Thank you very, very much, Azorian Metal. People that go to the to the shows, that buy our work, and follow us in our uh, social media at Facebook or our uh, uh, official website, impacatum.com. Yeah, we would also would like to thank our sponsors, but we, <laughs> we have no sponsors <laughs> at the time. <laughs> at Stay the metal. Moment. Rock and roll. The Mon. What a misery for the earth.